second video. I know what some of you are thinking, hey man, this is a fishing channel. This dude's not even fishing. Is he even a fisherman? Does he even go fishing? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, it's just been bad timing for me to get out on the water. I am a full-time peace officer here in the state of Texas. I am a full-time husband and a full-time father of two wild and crazy boys. And I will get out there as soon as I can and have some time to get out there and show you guys what I'm doing on the water and make another video on the water and get some fish on this fishing channel. I started watching some of these other YouTube uh, fishing channels and some of these elite series individuals fishing different styles, different techniques, you know, learning about different lines, monofilament, fluorocarbon, braid, different Carolina rigs, Tokyo rigs, Alabama rigs. I mean, you name a state, there's probably a rig. Another reason I started this was as I learned those things, and I've learned a few and will incorporate some of those into some of my future videos, but as I learn those fishing techniques, I want to show you guys how I'm learning and, and what I'm doing with them out on the water and if they work. Uh, some of these applications may not work for the bodies of water that I'm fishing here in Texas, but most of them will. Again, I'm going on about why I'm doing this channel. You guys know it. I love fishing. You guys just follow along. It'll be a journey, and I want you guys to start from the beginning. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. So let's get into it. 2009 is, I think, when this company first started. I could be wrong, and then they really took off around the 2015 mark, and they've, they've kind of just gone off. They're local. They're from uh, Willis, Texas, and that company is Sixth Sense Fishing. You guys have probably seen a lot of unboxing videos. Those of you that are following fishing or know about the company. And let me tell you, I heard they had the best hard baits in the game. And that is not a lie. That is the absolute truth. Their hard baits are amazing. The paint schemes, the hardware, the hooks, everything you get with it is top notch. I've caught several fish already in the past year just starting with these lures. I like the way that this company is ran. And the feedback, the shipping, everything that I'm hearing and, and everything I have experienced from it has been really good. Like I told you in the last video, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not trying to be sponsored by anybody. I'm just a bass fisherman who loves bass fishing. And if I find something out there that I think works and it works for me, I'm going to share it with you guys on this channel. So, let's see. I'm a Texas guy. I love Texas, Texas Longhorns all day. Uh, my mother went to the university, got a nursing degree there, and I've always supported the university. Um, so I picked up a hat. Um, thought it was a cool hat, it's my color. Those of you guys that know me know I love the burnt orange. As you can see, half my garage wall is painted orange. Check it out. So if you don't know, most of their stuff comes in some nice, uh, nice bags here. So there's the logo. There's the company, Six Cents Fishing. Again, these bags are pretty cool. I, I got some uh, some bags that are similar, several bags that are similar, but purple and gold. Um, yeah, laying around the house. I use them for all kinds of stuff. So uh, let's start with the soft plastics. So they had some new soft plastics come out and I was pretty stoked about because these soft plastics are gonna really affect me and how I fish and especially the lakes that I fish. So the first one, we're going to talk about is a soft jerk bait that they came out with. It is the Flush 5.2 soft jerk bait. And this is the Shad Pearl and the Flush 5.2. Check it out. So these soft jerk baits, tons of way you can fish. Let's take a look at this and, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about how you can fish it there. But You guys see that? Point two. That's gonna do really well. I like the weight on this. It seems it seems like it it's not too heavy, not too light. I know that's kind of a 
kind of hard to explain. So me personally, I fish this weightless um, on a little bit lighter line and they call it a soft jerk bait and that's basically what you're doing with your reel. You're kind of just twitching your, your rod back and forth. You're kind of getting the slack, reeling the slack and giving it some twitches and it's going to be coming through kind of darting, darting, doing erratic motions up down side. It, you should see it in the water and we'll do some of those videos and show you how these kind of fish but it's going to imitate a, another dying shad and these bass they love these um i think i have so one that i fished i've always fished is the the zoom uh super salty fluke i believe uh zoom and they have they probably have like 30 different colors and there's a few different colors a watermelon red watermelon seed um i think is one uh Lavender, there's a lavender sh uh, shad imitation. There's, there's tons of them. So I think I have one actually tied on yeah, at a, a friend of mine. His co-worker has a, um, a couple stock tanks there on his property. And I went to his property and I was fishing this and I was tearing them up. Man, I was catching those fish out there. Nothing nothing too crazy, nothing too big. But uh, my buddy actually had hasn't really fished much and I was th threw one on his line and he caught probably about a three pounder he probably had the best fish of the day and uh, I think he's hooked man so hopefully he gets out on the boat with me and, and stuff but this is the this is the zoom super salty fluke here so it's very similar this one's actually it looks a little bit lighter a little bit softer plastic and and I think what's gonna make these um, six cents flush stand out a little bit more is the weight on them and it, they're a little bit sturdier I think so these these zooms are very very thin plastic and um, again they're a little bit cheaper but you know after two or three fish bites you're having to change out because they're just not they're not staying on your hook very well and they're not moving through the water as you will another way a lot of people fish this too is as a drop shot so you kind of got your weight down here your cylinder weight and you're gonna have your size one hook up here and they'll just kind of hook it up there and it's kind of just moving through the water and that drop shot weight you're just working on the bottom you're letting it sink, you're popping it, you're twitching it, you're dragging, however you want to fish that. And this will just kind of sit there. And the bass will come up and eat it. Um, I've never fished it that way. Um, I'm that real big uh, fisherman drop stop shot. I know it works on my lake. I've had a lot of people tell me drop shot, drop shot, drop shot. So that might be something we incorporate to another video is my first drop shot fish because I haven't fished that before. So again, this is the Flush 5.2 from 6 Inch and the Shad Pearl. But again, I'm still going to be fishing these zooms. I've fished them since as far back as I can remember. Uh, I think my dad used to call them Bass Assassins. I don't know if that was the company that uh, made them at the time that where he got them from or if it was the color or, or what. If you guys know why he called them Bass Assassins, drop it down in the comment. There's probably something I don't know. Again, he's been fishing since uh, I was a little kid and before that. It's just an orange theme. I didn't, I didn't, I promise you I didn't plan it that way. But uh, I guess it's just an orange theme. I, I didn't know they were going to send it in this bag. So I got another one. And this one is the Threadfin Shad. It's kind of a, it's got some silver flakes, some green flakes, some blue flake. I like how they had that little indention there. It's almost like they knew they know your hook is going to go out. And probably going to be a four out hook is what I'm going to fish with this. And that's just the hook size. So hopefully you guys can see that uh, flake in that one, all the colors. Silver, the green. Looks like some gold in there too. I think it's just green. I think it's just the way the light hits the gold. The green makes it look gold. A lot of silver flakes. There's, yeah. Again, man. When you get out there on that water, have several different. I'm not sure how many color uh, colors they have in this, but I know they have quite a few. All right. Before I dive into this one, I want to show you guys something real quick. This is a little a bag I have. I usually take this one. I take the boys down to the creek or the river or somewhere around here. But I think... There we go. Yeah, I knew there was something. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick history about me. So, there's one lure. One lure that really, really changed fishing for me. Um, my dad took me out and I was younger. Um, and he taught me how to Texas rig because before then it was top waters, crankbaits, kind of everything. But I always asked him, Dad, why are you, why is your, you're never fishing? Your, your pole's just up in the air. I didn't understand what he was doing. So he finally took me out one day. A buddy of mine went with me. He took us out fishing, and I remember he just kind of, kind of sat there in the back of the boat and let us just work a Texas rig. 
And the bait I had on that day caught fish tomorrow. I mean, we were pulling them up left and right. And uh, I was using a baby brush hog. Yeah, anybody that knows anything about fishing knows about a brush hog. So this is the brush hog. You guys can see that? And I know this is a, um, a six cents unboxing, but again, I, I'm gonna talk to you guys about everything that I know that works. I'm not just gonna talk to you about one company. If you've ever fished with me, it's tied on. It will always be tied on. It will always be in my boat for as long as I fish because um, it just changed it both ways. But I never knew this. There's actually a certain way to rig it. You're on your Texas rig, when you're bouncing them through and you got that bullet weight and it's coming through and it's kind of coming over rocks and stumps, if you watch, let's pretend my finger is a stump here. And if you watch this, watch that tail in there. You see how it's, it spreads open? You see that? Those appendages there? They kind of spread open. And, and in the water, they're going to exaggerate that a lot more. It's going to exaggerate it a lot more. Watch this. If you turn it around, they don't do it. They close. I never knew. I've been fishing this for... 20 years this way and I never knew I I never knew So yeah, so you really want to make sure you're rigging that hook up the right way So when you're dragging it through those appendages are separating because it's just giving more movement in the water More and six cents has just dropped this new lure. It's called the hog walla 5.8 So if you if ever fish six cents, you know their clout They kind of got that the diamond pattern here on the stick the stick portion of the bait and their clout worm does that as well it looks like they took the clout worm design almost and then added some appendages and kind of flattened it out a little bit. And you got these two uh, tentacles here, a little bit longer than the brush hog. You got the same appendages down, I'm sorry, up here that are already detached and then the same lizard style up here. So get a close look at that. You guys can see that. This is the watermelon red in the hog wallet. Yeah. Um... Another couple ways you can you can fish this other than obviously your Texas rig, which I'm going to do. You can Carolina rig this. So this was just another variation of the the watermelon red. This is watermelon red sunfish. Watermelon red sunfish. So it looks like a little bit lighter green, and it's got a. It looks like it's got some more colors in there. It's got watermelon sunfish. Watermelon red sunfish. It's got some green, some blue, and some red, some gold. Yeah, just a little bit lighter of a body on that throughout the whole thing. You guys can can see that. These are nice. You guys see those colors there? See, you guys can see that. That's it on the plastics. So let's see what we got here in the hard baits. Here is the Curve Finesse Square Bill. So one thing I think I did talk about when I was talking about their hard baits is their the hooks, the really sharp premium hooks. Curve 55 finesse, sorry. Square bill. Let's take a look at that. Nice shad color there. It's got some green on top there. White belly. And around the green, I don't know if the light will let you guys see that, but it's got some some lavender there. Some lavender around both sides of that green. It's also translucent. I just saw that you can kind of see through it there. Let's see. So this one's a little bit smaller. You guys are familiar with the KVD products? It's a little bit smaller than your 1.5, and that's that finesse. And they got it's got that curve in it there. And the Ghost Pro Shad. That's the color. Ghost Pro Shad. Let's see what else we got? We got a couple more hard baits in here. <laughs> so this color I actually have in a, a different style print bait in the. Crush 50X, which is another crankbait that they have. It's a little bit bigger. This color works really well uh, in my body of water. Um, the orange and reds, they do really well there on the rocks. The crawfish imitation is all it's about. This is the, actually the crawfish nook. You see that there? See that green there on the top? And it's got that nice orange belly. Again, with the orange, I promise you guys, I promise you guys, I did not plan the, the orange theme. I, I didn't. It just it just played out that way. Man. Sorry, this is the curve. The curve 55. So it's it's kind of got the same profile as that curve finesse. 
a little bit bigger and it's got a bigger bill so it's going to dive a little bit deeper i believe in that five to nine foot range so it's going to get down a little bit deeper a little bit bigger again same thing it's going to start deflecting off those rocks off that timber anything that you're fishing in your lake um, or it's going to work through that grass and those fish are going to come up and bam fish on that's what we want then yeah that's going to put some fish in the boat all these are going to put fish in the boat confident confident this next one is a, a lure that that i have never really fished i just started fishing it last week i was on the water and I, it was my first time really f trying to fish and understand it and i just i don't have any confidence in it um because i just haven't really fished them that much but it's one thing that I, i'm hoping to get from this channel and, and branching out of out of my comfort zone and my confidence base that i have you know my zoom super salty flukes my brush hogs my speed crawls uh, my KVDs, uh, my spinner baits, you know, those are my core uh, fishing lures. And I want to really venture out into some other colors, other types of lures and lines to just gain more knowledge on the subject of fishing and what aspects and when to use what, uh, water temperatures, water depths, water clarity, those kind of things. It's all stuff that I'm new to, you know, stuff. But this is the Provoke 106 from 6 and it is a hard jerk bait. You guys see that there? This is their hard jerk bait. This is a bait that I have not ever fished. Um, I fished it something similar last week. Uh, I probably casted it a handful of times and, and just kind of, kind of working with the how I'm going to fish these jerk baits. Um, I need to watch the little videos myself. I think this color is going to do really well. I have this color. This is the uh, Spanish bone. I don't know if I said it on this video. Or another video that I did, but those bone, the natural, the reds, the oranges, they really work. I have this color, Spanish bone, and a catwalk, which is a, a torpedo style um, walking bait. And I think it's a five inch, and I've done really well. I caught about three or four good fish, probably about a three and a half pounder on, on that catwalk in the Spanish bone. So when I saw this color in the Provoke jerk bait, they say it's a cold water bait. Not sure how cold uh, our waters are gonna get here. Uh, not like up north or uh, out east, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm, I'm going to try, and I'm going to take you guys out there with me, and yeah, and see how we do. I've been told since I fished this off jerk bait, it's basically the same thing, so it shouldn't be too much of a learning curve. Hopefully, I get it down, but you know, you're going to kind of let it sit, and it's going to jerk through that water kind of erratically, kind of imitating that, that shad. Uh, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much does it for the uh, the six cents unboxing that I had. Um, I know this is only my second video and it's another unboxing. Don't worry, we're gonna get on the water sooner than later, hopefully, and uh, I can I can get a video out to you guys. It's gonna be kind of my first on water video, so I'm not really sure how much talking I'm gonna be doing, uh, how much editing I'm gonna be doing in this process. This is all, again, a learning curve for me. I'm just starting out. Uh, I want to share as much information as I can with you guys as often as I can. Obviously, it's not going to be every day. I mean, I ain't be every week, but I'm going to try my hardest to share as much stuff as I can with you guys. Whether if it's it's just going over the current tackle I have, the current boat setup, my kayak here, uh, how I set it up. I'm new to kayak fishing. So all you kayak fishermen, I've been on the water one time with this thing and that was the only time I've ever been on a kayak. Uh, I've always been on a bass boat. I'm new to the kayak world. So anything that you guys can give me some pointers, how to rig the GoPro up on the on the kayak, how to fish with it, uh, a good seat. You know, I kind of have an old school Bill Dance seat, 360. It, I didn't really know what I was doing, just kind of getting adjusted to the, the balance. This is a, uh, a new canoe Frontier 12. I heard it's the most stable kayak, so that's why I got it. I'm not the smallest guy in the world so um i didn't want to end up in the water and i know it's a matter of time before i do it. anyways enough about that thank you guys for watching second unboxing six cents products uh if you like what you got so far if you like what i'm doing drop me a like subscribe um give me a shot down in the comment section let me know what you guys think of what i'm doing no i've said that but your feedback is going to be how i grow this channel what i do with this channel where i'm going or if i just stop it all together or at least stop posting the videos. Maybe I'll just make them for whoever wants to know around here. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to that's gonna kind of wrap it up. Um, my second unboxing. I hope to see you guys on the water soon.